everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Chloe here now in today's video we're going to be doing part two of ripping cardboard boxes I've already started a little bit of it because I really want to get this done want to get it out of the way and get it put in the bin but yeah this will be the last part for this video today I've got like maybe four boxes um, to do and then next Saturday will be a brand new video um, so yeah please make sure you stay tuned for that it's, it's going to be great. The next one I'm going to be doing is I might do a mukbang. So I'm going to be close to the microphone. And I will warn you a week in advance that if you don't like food in a microphone, if you don't like chomping and chewing, then Saturday's video next week will not be for you. Um, it's going to be a mukbang video. I'm going to be sitting down and eating and chomping on food. So... Now I've made you aware of that, now you know what's going to be coming up on the next video after this one. But yeah, I need to get this uh, bo these boxes done because I want them out of the way. So, I'm just going to rip these up, get it out of the way, get it done, and then it's done. Now I don't have to do it anymore. I've got a couple more boxes to rip up, like after these ones, but I'm just going to do those off camera. Otherwise, it's, this is just going to take me ages. I've got like tons of boxes in the house, and I really don't want to keep you guys, you know, waiting and waiting, just, you know, watching me just ripping these up one by one. So, I'm definitely going to just do the rest off camera. I need, oh, I need to drag that bin liner back up there. Now, do you remember this bag? This bag was from last week's video. So I just need to put all the cardboard in here. So, while I'm ripping these up, how is everyone's day or night, wherever you are in the world? Tell me how your week's been, what have you been up to, have you done anything exciting recently, have you gone on holiday somewhere? Tell me in the comments below what you've been getting up to recently and if your day's been alright or your week's been fine. Me, however, I've not, as you can tell, I'm quite low and quite down. Um, I've had a really depressing weekend. Um, it's not been good, so. But, you know, I'm trying. You know, I'm trying. I'm, I'm living. That's all that matters. However, I do have to say that it, it's my birthday next week. Is it next week? Fifteenth? Anyway, it's, it's, a, it's on the fifteenth. And I'll be going out nightclubbing hopefully if I have the money to do it on the, on my birthday I'll be going out by myself nobody to join me um, and just have fun hopefully while I'm there I can meet some new friends you know probably not but it is what it is Sorry if this is a bit of a down video. I'm just not up to it myself today. But you know how it is. Life. Life is just, yeah. Don't be discouraged about me being down. Um, just enjoy the video like you have been doing with all my other videos. Um, just relax, enjoy the sounds, the ripping sounds of me talking. Um, I really want to whisper in this video, but the microphone is so, like, it's too far away from my mouth. And I can't exactly put it up to my face while I'm holding the, the camera. Sorry, while I'm holding the microphone and doing this at the same time. 
However, I do have some body microphones, which I could use, but those aren't uh, binaural, which basically means from left to right. Uh, so I just use the microphone that I always use, the uh, Silver Blue Yeti. So yeah, this is going to be the last of this today. Um, and then next week will be a mukbang video. Also, while I'm doing this, please make sure you post in the comments below of what you want to see me do in the future. Give me some video ideas of what to do because I'm running out. Like, I know I haven't been posting quite frequently, but that's because I've um, been getting myself down recently in life about different things. So, post in the comments. Let me know if you've got any ideas on what you want to see or what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Please don't post something silly or something that's just that's not right for YouTube. Make, please make sure that it's family friendly. Um, I don't want to swear in that video. I don't want to go against YouTube's privacy policy. I don't want to go against their rules. Make it family friendly as you can. And yeah, I'll do the video for you. As you can tell, I'm really tired too. I haven't had much sleep in the last like four days. I'm just really tired. Just not feeling up to doing anything at all. To be honest, I don't even know what motivated me to do this video. Um, well, obviously I need to get a video out for Tuesday because by the time I'm recording this, it's actually Sunday. Um, but when it goes out, at least it'll be out then. But I don't know what possessed me to get up and actually do this video today because I haven't got any energy at all. You could probably tell that through my eyes and the way I'm just not bothering to like rip up these boxes. I'm just done with life, fed up. I hate this world we live in. It's too negative. I wish I was born in the next generation. I don't know. 3,050 or something. Like that. I don't think the 22nd century would have been any better. To be honest. The amount of stuff that I've seen. On the internet. I won't go into too much detail, but the things that I've seen is just, you know, this world is too hateful. People hating on each other for no reason. Why can't we all just get along, support each other, do right by each other, help each other out, respect each other's privacy, each other's boundaries, you know, respect people's beliefs. Make sure you're giving them space. Make sure you're giving people their rights. Things like that. <clears throat> okay, so we've got those done now. So let's put those in here. So 
So let's uh, talk about happy, uh, happy thoughts and positive thoughts. Let me know also, let me know in the comments below if you're excited about Christmas and what you are getting for Christmas, if you know what you're getting. Um, or what, tell me what you want to get for Christmas. Let me just get these. Okay. Are you doing anything for Christmas Day? Are you doing anything for Christmas Eve? What have you got planned for the, the, uh, the uh, New Year? Are you doing anything on the New Year? Are you going out drinking with friends, family? What are you doing? Me? Um, good question. Well, for Christmas Day, I'm going to see my family, just my mum and uh, her boyfriend and her son. Where I'm going there to have my dinner. Uh, I'll probably stay at my mum's most of the day. And then I'll probably end up coming back to my house. Uh, before that, on Christmas Eve, um, I'll be seeing my grandma for the first time in like four months. Because... Uh, she's been really unwell. Uh, she had a heart attack like three, four months ago. And she was told by people in public and the paramedics as well that she was pronounced dead at the scene. But they managed to bring her around. She was in a hospital for, I'd say, like three weeks. She got released out of hospital because she was in a coma and uh, she just got released from hospital three weeks later and she's doing all right now she's perfectly fine only problem is she does have a little bit of like memory issues um because she phoned me yesterday and she was trying to remember something that she couldn't remember and she struggled so i don't know whether her falling from this injury has given her like brain damage or whether it's just a coincidence whatever it may be I, I just really hope she's okay um, and yeah she's come to see me for the first time before, uh, before my birthday which will be the 14th which will be a day before I go out drinking um, so I kind of like I don't know you might see a video on the 14th I might do a video reunion of me meeting my nana for the first time in four months. Because uh, I haven't seen her in a long time. So you might get just a video of me meeting up with her. Um, it might only just be a shorts video. It won't be like a full length video like I'm doing now. Um, it'll just be maybe a short video. So... But regardless, no matter what it is, please make sure you go over to that shorts video if you do tend to make it. Engage with the video, like it, share it, favourite it if you want. If I don't end up making it, then you know why. Because there won't be a video on the channel. But yeah, it's just going to be a shorts video, I think. No point making it too long because there's no point. Oh, I'm getting hot. It's been really cold today. It's very snowy outside. Very cold indeed. I've just been sat with this jacket on all day because it's super cold. If you're wondering why I'm breaking these cardboard ups into little pieces, it's because I've OCD. If I don't rip them up into little pieces each time, it'll set my OCD off and I'll end up going crazy.
some people tend to do this. They'll take this piece that's quite huge and they'll stick that into a, like a trash bag. Like, if you want to recycle stuff, you've got to just rip it up into small pieces and get it all into a bag. Because if you're just doing it like piece by piece like this into a bag, you're going to end up using more bin liner bags up than you are boxes. So it's better to rip it like how I've been ripping it. And you can get a hell of a lot more in one bag than you can if you were to put like say something like this in the bag as well. Yeah, it's just going back to how I feel. It's just one of those Sundays, you know. Sundays are boring. I've just been going through a hell of a lot, you know, in like the last year or two. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry about that. Right. May I have to get another bin liner bag. Time we on seventeen minutes. Okay, got plenty of time yet. If this does end up being a longer video than last time, don't worry about it. I need to get this done. So if it ends up turning into like an hour and a half, me just ripping cardboard boxes up, then it is what it is. At least you're enjoying the video, that's all I care about. At least you're supporting me, loving the videos, liking the videos, showing your love and support. I really appreciate everybody who has supported me over the years. And even just showing your love and support on this channel means everything to me. I don't know where I would be without you guys. You show me so much love and support. And I'm very grateful for it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, who knows what the future brings, right? So, we're on just over 18 minutes. We've still got another two boxes to go. So, I should be finished about maybe 30 minutes in. Maybe 40 minutes at most. I have to get a new bin liner bag because I think that one's getting really full now, as you can tell. Okay. Oh, we're doing all right. Yeah. Oh, it's split. Bin liner bag split. I have to put another one over the top of it.
it'd be about maybe 40 minutes, I would have thought. We're already up to nearly 25 minutes now, so. Right. Yeah, I really wasn't going to do this video today, but I was just sat bored. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get up, do this video and get out of the way. Um, I was going to do it tomorrow instead, but I had to like get up and give myself something to do because if I didn't, I was going to go crazy, so... If you are enjoying this video so far, and you have got this far, please make sure you like the video, subscribe for more future content like this, and please make sure you turn on post notifications, so every time I make a brand new video you'll be notified on YouTube of that video that I make, and while you're here, please make sure you share this video around as well. And share all my other videos around with your friends, family, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your aunties, your granddads, whoever it may be. Let them know that there is a great ASMR YouTuber on YouTube. Tell them about me. Say to people, say, I've met this really amazing woman online. Uh, she's a great ASMR artist. She's really good at what she does. Yeah, let, let people know about me. Get them to come to my channel. Tell them to sub sub subscribe as well. If they haven't got a YouTube channel, tell them to make one. getting warm in here now because I was cold. You never know, it could be 45 maybe 50 minutes at most because I still have this box to rip up and then I've got a, another solid box to, to go I've got this and then I've got another full box so might be 50 minutes at most I want your guys' opinion. Please be honest with me. Do you really like watching my channel? Because I really, really want to know who likes my channel and who doesn't. If you don't like my channel, please also let me know because I would really love to know your opinions. Yes, sometimes I do like getting constructive criticism, but if it's like if it's not in a personal attack on me. Um, if it's anything else, sorry, that was my face, but I've got my Facebook on my desktop. Uh, but yeah, if it's anything else, uh, like anything about my work, anything that I, you know, I've done on my YouTube channel that you want me to do differently, 
Um, do you want me to like maybe continue to keep doing ASMR? Is it something that you want me to keep doing, or do you do you, do you feel like um, I should be doing something else? Um, let me know in the comments below if you really like me to do ASMR and if you really like me as a person. If you do, that's great. If you don't, that's also cool as well. I really, I really don't care. If you don't like me, I ain't bothered. All that matters is my real supporters and fans love me. I haven't got time for people who bully others or intimidate others or harass other people. If you've got nothing else better to do with your time, just leave my video, leave my channel and go bother somebody else. My channel is a safe space for people who want to relax, people who want to wind down after a stressful day at work, people who want to come to me for advice, for helpful advice, and to support my channel as well. And I really, really can't be any more thankful than I am now to have people who really do love and support me for who I really am. You know, and to show their appreciation for my channel and me as a person. Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly today. Okay, we're up to 30 minutes now. So, I say give or take about another 20 minutes. I'd be so glad to get rid of these boxes because they've been stuck in my house a very, very long time. I'd say probably more than two years at least. I just haven't been bothered to move them or just get rid of them until now. Okay, right, last box. Oh, God. This one's really thick, so it's not like an Amazon box. This is thick cardboard. This one's going to hurt my hands, I can feel it. Don't think I'm able to rip this up into small pieces because the cardboard is quite thick.
just haven't got the strength like I used to have years ago. My my strength has just been lost because of that. Obviously, the hormones that I've been taking over the last seven years, and it's good. It's a good thing. Um, because I I didn't really like myself being muscular. I really didn't like myself being being able to overpower people. I just I didn't like that. I wanted to be someone who was weak, soft, feminine, um, not being able to carry stuff, not being able to open jars properly. I wanted to be that type of girl. Um, and believe it or not, I was sat watching um, something on YouTube yesterday. And I went, I went uh, and bought myself um, some Doritos with the... Uh, what is it, the sriracha hot sauce or whatever you call it, that comes with the Doritos. Well, it doesn't come with the Doritos, but you have to buy them separately. Anyway, <clears throat> I got back home that same day and um, there's me trying to open the jar like this and it just wasn't budging at all. I tried all my strength. I put every, every ounce of strength I had into that jar and it wasn't turning at all. It wasn't turning, and so what I did was <clears throat> I uh, decided to grab a, a, a. It was like a. It was like a dishcloth or something that you wash your dishes with, or sorry, not uh, dry dishes with. I mean, um, I was using one of those. Couldn't get it open with that either. So what I did was I got a knife, like a, a steel knife. At the kitchen drawer, and I basically put the the knife sharp end underneath the where the seal is, and I just put it underneath, popped it up, and it, it the lid came off. So I'm going to do that in future instead of actually opening it with my hands. Which, if I was trying to open that thing with my hands, I'd be there all day. I don't know about other girls, but obviously because there's a lot more girls on my YouTube channel that watch me um, than men, but I feel like because I've been on hormones for so long that obviously it's destroyed my previous strength in the past. Like I said, which is good, and I'm happy about that. Um, but it comes with some disadvantages as well, like not being it and not being able to open, you know, food cans, especially that need only your hands and not equipment. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I just think to myself and I go, I really wish I had a man here to be able to help me with something that I can't do. Like, for example, um, being scared to go up in, in an attic with a ladder. Um, even though I'm not terrified of heights, but going up into a into an attic, especially when especially when you don't know what's up there, it's kind of creepy. And things like, you know, things to do with strength, like opening jars or opening a. Sometimes I even struggle to open a coke bottle. It's it's that difficult. Like I'll, I'll be sat there. And I really want to drink, and I'll just be like, and I it just won't, it won't open. <laughs> Here's a story for you. So there was this one time, right? I was at, uh, I can't rem remember where I was going shopping. But anyway, I went shopping somewhere one time, and I went into the shop, and I bought myself a, a Coke bottle. Because I was really thirsty and I needed something to drink before I got on the next train. So I went into the, the train station shops, picked up myself a bottle of Coke, I bought it, it came out. And I needed a drink straight away because my, my mouth was dry as hell. And um, so there I am just... You know, they're trying to like see if I can oof, open the, 
the bottle then I couldn't do it. So anyway, there was a there was this guy in the train station, and um, I went up to him and I said, "Excuse me, sir." I said, "Are you able to open this open this cold bottle for me? I, I can't do it. I'm I'm very weak." And he said, "Of course, my dear. I can do anything for you." I said, "Thank you. That's really kind of you." And anyway, um, once he opened it for me, I just went about my business. And I was like, "Oh, thank you." So it's just little things like that when people help you out that I appreciate, you know. Why can't everybody be like that? Why can't everybody just be nice to each other, be kind to each other, respect each other's feelings and help each other out when, when necessary, you know. We need more human beings in our world like that. This is why I left this box to last. Dear me, my fingers are really getting tired. Um, 40 minutes so yeah it'd be, it'd be about it'd be about maybe 50 minutes up to an hour before I get this done I'm so really sorry it's a long video but I need to get these out of the way otherwise it's just going to be part after part after part and I don't really want to bore you with that so if I get this done now at least then it's out of the way and I don't have to do it again so until I get more cardboard obviously Sweating. I'm really hoping I've kept you entertained. Um, a chit chat is always good, especially when you're doing stuff like this, because it can be boring. You know, I understand when watching somebody just rip up cardboard um, can be fun somehow, but. If you add a little bit of chit chat in there too, it stops you from being bored, I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rush to get another um, another two more bin liner bags because that one's really full now. Let me just get that. Okay, I've got them now. So what I'm going to do is... Fasten this one up like this. That's ready to go out. Okay.
can carry on now. Forty-five minutes. Yeah, we, we've still got a long way to go yet. So it'd be about maybe an hour, just over an hour, I would have thought. I didn't really want to make this video so long, but I've repeated myself like several times now and I just want to get this done. See me even struggling to open this cardboard box is really hard for me. I mean, I, I love being weak, I don't know why. It just makes me feel, it alienates, alienate. it elevates or makes me euphoric for having, um, for, or for being weaker, I should, I should say. I don't know, it just, it helps my gender dysphoria um, to be more happy and free. I know not every woman is weak and I'm not trying to like downplay anybody uh, so don't come from me in the comments saying oh Chloe you know not all women are, um, are weak and all this bullshit but that's what it is. I know you get strong women out there I know you do and but I'm you know I'm, I'm not trying to like come at anybody it's just that the way the hormones have trapped me that I just I feel a lot more happier in myself you know a lot I feel a lot more happier that it's made me weaker okay Sorry again. Oh god, this is tough. Dude, this cardboard is rock solid. Like trying to break a window. Just this bit now, that's it. After this I'm done.
just this little bit now, and then that's it. Oh, my hands are really, really hurting. What did they make this card for though? Or steel? I was being sarcastic there by the way. I've done this, put it all in the bag, fasten the bag up, then I'll end the video. So don't forget, make sure if you've liked this video, subscribe to my channel, turn post notifications on, and I shall see you next Saturday. Because by the time I post this, it'll be it'll be Tuesday, which will be a video coming on Tuesday. The time of recording this video is Sunday, so I have to get this video edited and put out before uh, Tuesday. So you'll definitely have this video by then. So if you are watching this video on a Tuesday, then it's been released. Um, I also have to say, you know, thank you to, again to all the supporters that are truly there for me, who've supported me along this journey. Um, I can't do this without you, so I really appreciate you. I love you so much. And um, to all the haters, I love you all too. Thank you for being jealous of me. Thank you for trying to be me. Um, and yeah, I shall catch you all on Saturday. Love you. Bye.